The secret for hosting, I don't really know that there's a secret. I, I feel like you just have to really be excited about the show and honor the awards and the show itself, you know. It's not really a platform for the host to try and get a sitcom deal or like, you know, you want to impress people that you, you're confident and able to host the show, but that's as far as it should go, I think. Mm -hmm. I love award shows. For as long as I can remember, I would have parties, Emmy parties, Tony parties, people would come, we'd put in money, we'd have ballots, we'd watch the whole thing, it was a big night. And so I really like them. So to be a part of it and to be sort of helming it is great fun, but I, ha I feel pressure on myself to just make sure it's a good night. I'm a co-producer on it as well, so I'm involved sort of in all of it. And there's just so much because it's a network show that's honoring all these multiple networks. You have to have X number of presenters from every network that are involved and they have to be fit into places and you have to have time for each award, time for each acceptance speech, time for you know, announcing the presenters. There's just a lot of structure that is set already. And so your job is to find little places throughout that you can sort of keep it buoyant and keep, um, keep people amused without stealing focus from the show. And so that's kind of my job. I don't know how I'll do, but that's my goal. I'm very excited to be nominated, but hosting trumps that like tenfold because there's just so much responsibility with the, you know, what I'm gonna do for the opening and, and pre-taping things. Uh, so the nomination will be great fun and will be a, it'll be a whirlwind eight minutes when all of that's happening, but I have a lot of other irons in the fire at that moment, so I'm kind of looking forward to not being just sitting in my seat nervous that a camera's sort of waiting to see if I win or lose. That's very nerve-wracking. Um, Anyone who says it isn't is lying. My hosting role model for the Emmys is, I really liked Dick Cabot. He did a great job. I love Dick Cavett, he's just, he has the ability to really seem to be sincere and educated, but also have a bit of whimsy to him. No one beats Carson, I mean he was just, that was his skill set. Uh, but my favorite one that I've watched so far was the seventh annual, the first televised awards that they did with Steve Allen as the host. Steve Allen's just so sharp. And everything that he says is sort of paternal. You know, he, he, you really feel when you're watching him like you're in good hands with him, you know, that he's gonna, he's gonna help you through it. So I hope to do a little bit of that. I think it's an inevitability that I will sing. <laughs> in what capacity, I don't quite know yet. Could be an opening number, could be midway through the show. Love to get Dr. Horrible involved somehow. Not quite sure that everyone that watches the Emmys will know what that would mean. They should. But they should. I keep angling towards Muppets. I would love to have Muppets on the show in some capacity. Uh, we'll see if that ends up happening or not. You're dealing with Muppets, you have to deal with all the, the people that control the Muppets and content to them. My big idea was to have Statler and Waldorf there that I could throw to for color commentary. Because if I say that someone's face is pulled, it's, it's like, oh, hey, easy guy. But if you have two, you know, 80-year-old puppets talking about someone's boob job, it's funny.